Hello, welcome to Sandy Ainley. I hope you're well. Um, I'm trying now to focus on looking at the, I think, camera to make sure that I don't seem as though I'm speaking to myself, so to speak. Um, I was given advice on that matter. I don't mind having gone back a bit to that point where I say that somebody messaged me, I think, after a vlog of mine and advised me uh, to um, do so, um, so that I have better vlogging skill. Uh, but I have a Chinese meal here and I'm going to share it with you. I wish I could share it in food-wise with you. I can't through the camera. Um, well, yes, camera and computer. However, I can sit and enjoy myself whilst I'm with you and so share it with you in that manner. So I have here some delicious looking, to me looking delicious, vegetable spring roll. Now, delicious looking for my taste. And I also have, which I shall show you, however, I need to be cautious because it's liquid, wonton soup. I'll just move the camera, I mean computer. There's the wonton soup. And wonton soup is my all-time favourite, so to speak, when it comes to Chinese soup. And I also have, which Oreo seems interested in, aren't you, Oreo? If you didn't know, Oreo's my cat. Here is some toffee banana. And I just can't wait to have some toffee banana. And last, but by no means least, and this is now a treat, as a result of the fact that I'm, I'm trying to keep off the Diet Coke. But here I have three cans. <laughs> I tried to keep off the Diet Coke and then three cans. It is better than 20 cans, isn't it? I'm sure you knew that. And I think that my message is clear. I can have three lots every five hours. So that's, why I that's, that's about 15 a day I'm capable of having. So if I have three in one day, please see what an excellent correction that it is um so please if you like praying please pray for me on that one so i'm just going to drink a little excuse me please hello oreo darling <laughs> my cat loves to have the attention oh darling oh i do like diet coke so I'm going to try some of this, um, this soup. I love Chinese cabbage, I think one names it as. What I'm about to have now. Mmm. Lovely. Tastes delicious for me. Says Sandy, licking the lip. Oh gosh, so I had quite a busy time. Uh, I have vlogged concerning the um, Savoy Hotel and Savoy Theatre. And uh, if you didn't see that one, it's the vlog before this one that I've done, recorded. I'm just trying to remember to constantly look so that I can look like I'm looking at yourselves. And um, I'm just trying to get one of these wonton, that's better. A wonton. Oh, I gulped it down a bit too hard then. It was delicious. I, I love a wonton soup when it's a freezing cold day. And one's indoors in the warmth. Or just maybe not, all right, tell a lie, not in the warmth, coolish weather, in uh, temperature indoors. And then a wonton soup, nice, 
hot at one point too. The coziness of it. I don't know if you can sense my demeanour. Yes, Oreo! Oh, it's so good. My late Nana, grandma that was, on my father's side, my late father's side, taught me what my Nana said was the correct manner in which to do, have one soup. So I think what, what Nana said was, and certainly not to lift it up, that's for sure, that one, I think, tips it a, bit, a little bit um, away from one and then just gets the spoon, takes it from the far end to me, who's having the soup, and then very gently go. And I don't know if you um, knew that or know that. Um, if I'm incorrect, please comment below. I'd love to know. And um, I just need to remember to take my afternoon's meds. Lucky I'm recording because it jogged my memory. And um, going back to what I've been doing the past just over a day, I think, uh, since I last vlogged. Um, yesterday I had a... Sorry, I'll go from the day before yesterday. I saw a lovely friend. Um, I just visited this lady's flat and we watched a documentary on volcanoes and there was a, a, an accident in the volcano area and some people passed away and it's a true story. And I wasn't feeling very well. Are you darling? Come on, baby. Come sweetie, please. Come, sweetie, please. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a very, very good boy? So when I finish talking to Oreo and licking my lips, right, I start again. So, um, yes, it was quite upsetting. However, I also found it quite interesting, so to speak. Ori! And, um, yes, yeah, so it's very um, touching. And I wasn't feeling very well. And I kept all snoring. I, I was almost asleep on, on, about, on more than one occasion. And um, I asked my friend if I, if I may cover myself with a blanket. I felt chilly. Yes, darling. You want it to open? Bear with me, please. Sorry. Okay, darling. And mummy, open it for you. Good boy. You want to open, Mummy? Loves you, little phone. Is that nice? Oh, oh, my sweetie. Oh, my little baby. You're so good. You're so sweet, aren't you? Yes, my darling. Yes. Here, open this as well so it'll be easier for you. Look nice, look nice. Right. I think my cat just wants a bit of TLC. I don't blame him either. Okay, <laughs> if that's the case. So, um, bear with me whilst I please take some medication. Um... If I'm not mistaken, I've just taken vitamin D. And I think that's for one's nails and one's iron levels. No, not iron. Nails, I think. Please second that, as in correct me if, ne if necessary. Thank you. So, going back to... The day before yesterday, so I had a nice blanket on me, and then poor friend of mine, I fell asleep and started snoring. So my friend said that it was the end of the documentary, 
So I decided to leave because it's not nice to be a guest somewhere, not to be well and to fall asleep. I felt bad, you know. So I got a cab home. I, I'm very lucky to have made it home. I felt really under the weather, so to speak. When I got home, I was so relieved because I knew that being at home, I can be ill and not feel bad about it. So I... um. The following day, I was ready quite quickly when I woke after I'd woken up and my, I think, brother or mother rang me. Yes, my brother and my mother, I think, uh, concerned for me. So I rang my mother back a bit later and um, I spoke to my brother, I think, after. And um, I understand that my mother wanted to meet me for lunch, for a late lunch. So we did, and we visited a, a restaurant called the B&K in Hatch End, and that's a salt beef bar. So we enjoyed our food, and yes, darling, you want this open now, sweetie? Excuse me, please. Okay, darling. You're so cute, you want my attention, don't you? You silly boy, cheeky boy, cheeky boy. Cheeky boy. What a darling. So, sorry for all the um, interruption <laughs> again. Okay, so <laughs> where was I? Oh dear. Um, I don't know. It's so annoying when, when that takes place for me anyway. I get so angry with myself. So um, that's right, we had lunch and it was a very pleasant lunch. And then afterwards I walked next door to, there was a St. Luke's and I walked in to St. Luke's and I found a, a mug saying mum on it. So I bought it, pretty mug, pink, which is my favorite, one of my favorite colors. And it had beautiful writing on it. And I thought, well, why not? And I bought it, maybe 50p perhaps, something to that effect. I gave it to my mum. I just said, mum, please wash it though. It's second hand. So that was handy. And um, then in the evening, a friend visited me, a lovely lady. And we sat and we tried to work out the manner in which to work my new pink air fryer. Um, would be pink, wouldn't it? So yes, is my answer to that. So um, we tried that and then all this steam came out. So I quickly opened the door so that my fire alarm wouldn't go off. No, darling, you're not going to have one of my vegetables, samosa, um, roll, spring rolls, dear. No, sweetie, this is human food, good boy. There's a good boy. So, um, Gosh, where was I, please? Uh, that's right, my friend last evening. And um, so we didn't quite get working on the um, air fryer. And that reminds me, and I'm going to write it down as I'm talking to you, as a result of the fact that I'll forget otherwise. I need to buy, for my air fryer that is, if I so wish to work my air fryer correctly, some, um, where are we here, tomorrow is Thursday, that's correct, so it's um, um, one calorie spray, and of course some potatoes, if I so wish to make fried potatoes. Okay, so um, thank you for your patience. So, um, and, and hence now today. Um, I, won, I I just remembered to show you my prawn cracker selection. Let's just show you the top of it, the tip of it. There we are. I didn't have one yet because I'm trying really seriously to lose weight. What's that? Oh, I've just got to... Right, yes, yeah, sorry, I had a notification. I'm not eating much of this, am I? <laughs> I'm too busy talking. So, um, I'll try a bit more of this and then I'll 
I have already had a little bit of it, so that's why I don't want to have a lot more because um, of my diet. But what I'll do is I'll have just the soup whilst I'm talking to you as a result of the fact that I have more to say. Oh, it's very good, as I said before. <clears throat> my Nana was an interesting lady, in my opinion, an interesting lady. Very eccentric. I've definitely got that from my Nana. I don't doubt that for one moment. And um, on a thinking basis, I'm keeping a distance for quite a number of human beings presently. I'm going through a stage, I, I do this sometimes, I don't mind having said, where I just want to be left be and be on my own with my cat. And it's since today, I've just decided because I just, it's, there's no nothing personal to anybody external to myself. It's just something I feel okay on occasion. Do you? It'd be interesting to know for me. Ori? Oh, there you are. So lovely and peaceful here with the door closed. I can hear very distant traffic only. Do apologise, people. I'm constantly forgetting to look in the correct manner at the at the iPad. I um, need to change my habit, and it takes a while, doesn't it? I'm trying to cut a wonton in half with my spoon, and it's a challenge, but I finally got there. That's as much as I'm going to eat for now. I've nearly finished the soup. I just need to continue taking my medications. So I spoke on subject of the one that I thought might have been vitamin D. This tablet um, I th think is my depression tablet, Cetralin. Yes. This one, I think, is my OCD tablet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not sure what these two are. I know they're correct though. I know it's the correct medication because I have it all on, in a dosset box given to me, made for me. And I do um, have my moment, moments when I have a good check. So I'm pretty, pretty positive. I would say 90% certain, which I know isn't good enough. Whoops. And this is my two lots of Lyrica, which I take for my restless leg syndrome. And I have a very nice pill box, which is as follows. I bought it from Wish and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, compartments I think one says sorry seven I think seven this nice big one the white one or oh, white here yes white okay so thank you for your patience yet again people each person oh 
I'm not sure if I mentioned to you my co-codamol. That's the two I just took. That is for my physical pain, my pain in my hip, my, my left hip. Sometimes I receive back pain, so from that. So, um, I'm really enjoying your company, sitting here recording whilst I'm thinking and talking. Just throwing away the soup. I don't want to make it all. I'll be honest with you, I've had one of these already and I'm full up now. So I'm going to keep this. In fact, thinking of again basis, I'm not throwing away the rest of the soup. I'm going to not waste. I'm going to keep that. Sorry for licking my finger. Oh, I so wish to throw away the prawn crackers. However, I may just wait a while. In fact, I shall wait a while and see if I may later have just nibbly on a little, a little amount. I think it's going to help. I know it's going to help my um, diet talking to yourselves because I come, I feel less alone on the subject. I don't know if I'm making my point clear. And I had some wet wipes over here, which um, I'll say something which may provoke you to laugh. A friend of mine, lovely lady, uh, in my opinion, a lovely lady, um, has taken on my idea of using wet wipes. This lady now has them in, I think the lady said, in each room of this lady's flat. And now this lady's mother and friends start, have started, I think, to use... Um, wet wipes constantly so my OCD is spreading oh dear <laughs> that was a joke it doesn't mean that one's necessarily got OCD if one's using a lot of wet wipes I mean in my case it's it's OCD because I do it excessively I think is the word uh, but I don't mind having said and um, after that delicious scrumptious I think one says lunch which, which I haven't had much of I, I it's difficult because when one's ordering it, it's one's tempted to buy a load of food and drinks and it's it's very difficult to finish it um, and some places as you probably know um, they have a minimum amount that one's to order so that makes it even harder to keep the weight down as well. Okay, so I've washed up after lunch. Um, I so wish to show you um, my beautiful, and I'm so lucky to have it, Kobo Touch uh, reading computer. And I don't mind saying I haven't used it yet. Not once, I don't think. And I'd like to start using it. It's a beautifully dinky little item. Please have a look. Oh, I have pins and needles in my legs from not stretching my legs out. So bear with me, please. There we are, that's better. So, yes, yeah, so um, I shall try to switch this on. I've not any idea what to do. Oh, I see. Maybe it needs charging. Yes, I think it needs charging. I have a charger here, I think. Let's just see if I can charge it now as I'm talking to yourselves. And then that may help to me to understand what I'm up to, so to speak. Okay, so it seems to be charging, I think, I hope. I don't know. Is it charging, if I may ask? Yes, I think I've answered my own question. In fact, I know I have. That is charging. 
Computer detected. Would you like to connect your e-reader to your computer to manage files? Question mark. Cancel. Add a book. Tap here to update your library. Save articles from the web with Pocket. Take a quick tour. Get started. Add a book to your library. Need help? Question mark. Library bookstore extras. Um, see if they got this book ballet shoes. Yeah, I don't know the manner in which to work it, so bear with me, please. Ballet shoes. Um, okay. No network networks found connecting. Scanning for networks. Join a Wi-Fi network. Um, living room. Connecting. I'll just show you where I am so far with the computer. I'm naming it a computer. My book computer, that's more precise. I don't mind having said. It's still connecting. Error, Un unable to join. Living room TV dot B comma speech marks full stop. Please try another network. Okay. You see, please try again. Okay. Does anybody know what I'm supposed to do next, please? If you could kindly send me a comment, I'd love to know. Um, I've had this sitting in tidily in cupboards, drawers, wherever, for the past maybe 10 years or so, perhaps even more. Uh, <laughs> so it's understandable that I don't know what I'm doing if I haven't really made the effort. Um, I've been so busy on via my iPad watching YouTube, etc., whoever, Tom Mills and the, the Inghams and the Busbys, whoever. Uh, I, there was one time I was very into the squad something, quad squad, some type of family name. I've, I've forgotten precisely the name um, of that family. So, yeah, so I shall leave it at that for the um, book computer. The Kobo. Ding. so that I don't waste time. I have here a snuggle safe. I don't mind having said. And this is for my cat. Hence, I'll come closer, the picture, the picture of the animals. And this is, it's a microwave heat pad. And it's up to 10 hours of warmth. If anybody knows, again, I'm asking, because there's, they don't have the instructions here in the British language, um, apart from just the odd word in the British language, um, which is annoying because I don't know for how I don't know how long I'm meant to be microwaving this item for. So if anybody knows, please comment again below. I really would appreciate it very, very much if you could help me with this and with the Kobo because it's 
I'm learning to utilise what I have and it's really important to me. So pretty please, the sugar on the top. That would be so, so, so deeply, lovingly and caringly appreciated. So excuse me, please. I just so wish to um, share with you something that I do. And it's interesting because very often with a child, the child like the simple toy, the most simple toy, like playing outdoors with a ball. And this is what I've discovered for my cat, Oreo. He likes paper. And I screw it up. In fact, if I try to play with Oreo, he might respond or might not. Depends. I'll see. Obviously, it depends. I'm just, uh, I don't mind having said, if you could please bear with me, darlings. Um, lovely. So, I, thank you for your patience. And I shall see if Oreo shall respond. What I have been known to do is... I have a large, nice A4 size paper and I screw it up. Oreo! Whee! And I just throw it. There's a good boy! Come on! Come on, baby! Another one. So, oh well, I tried and I'm going to continue trying because obviously as a child with a child um, and the same with, a, again, like, like the animal will like the simple of toys just as a child, probably, um, in my opinion. Um, so um, I'm just going to continue trying with Oreo. Uh, so that please God for me and Oreo, Oreo shall have some fun. Um, I try to alternate, I think one says, what I play with Oreo. Yesterday I played a bit with um, a laser toy for Oreo. And the day before I think I used bubbles, catnip bubbles. And so today is the paper. And hopefully Oreo... Um, has, or certainly has been, and hopefully is and shall be motivated to play a bit more with different type types of toy. So thank you for watching me. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this vlog and I'm enjoying this vlog. I have, have enjoyed and I'm enjoying the vlog extremely so. It's lovely to talk to you, whoever you are. And um, it's quite interesting because as I go along, I'm starting to build more familiarity with what I'm meant to be doing in each vlog. And also, I'm more confident and um, more relaxed. Well, that goes usually together, doesn't it? So, um, to say the least. So... Um, I planned it today and I I hope that you have noticed that and please take lots and lots of care each one of you and please look after each other and I hope you have a really nice time until I, I next vlog if you have enjoyed and I'm enjoying this work please like and subscribe and if you don't like something please comment uh, if you say it nicely, I'll be receptive to it. I like criticism. Criticism is crucial. Feedback, I mean, as in feedback criticism, is crucial. And it's so important what people think. Um, because that's what makes one socially. I'm not saying one has to take every single bit of information on board. However, it's so crucial to at least try 
to take in some, if not more than some, if not all of the positive feedback that one's given. And even if it's negative, if it's, if it's the truth and it's said nicely, then no problem at all. So kiss it and kiss and kiss and kiss and kiss to you. And um, shalom, which is Hebrew for hello, peace and goodbye.